My video on the supplement TMG has about 40,000 views at the time of this videotaping. And a lot of comments came in saying, what other supplements are you taking? Now, I did mention a few of my daily routine, but there's one that I did not mention, and that was spermidine. <laughs> okay, hey, spermidine. That's kind of funny sounding, right? But we'll get into the research right here on this longevity supplement that is showing a lot of promise. But before I proceed, my name is Andrew Colasco, and from here on out, I am your very own longevity coach for you men 50 plus. Every week, I will give you the no BS insider info on how to maximize and optimize your future years, the protocols and modalities that will strengthen your cardiovascular robustness, that will give you more energy and vitality, more lean muscle mass, and all the things that you will need to make your future years the best. So be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video and hit that like button. I've been hesitant to mention the spermidine supplement really because with the TMG, it had so much research and such quality research behind it. With spermidine, we don't have quite the human studies and the double clinical randomized control trials that we have, but it is still intriguing. The research that is out there in the rodent models and such. And you wanted to know what else I'm taking. You know I'm a longevity advocate and I'm going to go after those things that are going to give me the best potential lifespan I possibly can have. Because we are talking about longevity here and with longevity and really with any science, it's important to employ what I like to call discovery science. Now, discovery science, for lack of a better term, could be called a fishing expedition. You don't know exactly what you're looking for or what you're gonna find, but you won't find anything unless you go looking. All the advancements in longevity and science someone had to try things someone had to explore right someone had to make the first steps and i'll use an example here you know a big one that's in the longevity world right now a lot of people are talking about is rapamycin now rapamycin was actually created or found uh in 19 the late 1960s but then they they separated the compound out the rapamycin about 1972 only now are we getting dog studies? So it hasn't even gone to human trials yet. So that just shows you from 1972 to now, that isn't uh, human studies. And yet a lot of the scientists in the longevity field are quite bullish about it. So with spermidine, I feel the same way. I'm bullish about it. And you'll see why with the research that I share now. So in this world of biohacking, discovery science makes a lot of sense because if we waited for the human trials to come out, we might be waiting a long time before we could get the benefits of the health span that could come from these type of molecules like spermidine. So we may not have some of those literal human studies, but with the rodent model studies, we're able to extrapolate out some of the information and be able to look at the potential mechanisms that are there that could point us towards more health span and longevity benefits. So you can wait until there are more human studies, or if you're like me and you're excited about the longevity field and you want to do whatever you can to potentially push out those future years for yourself, then so I'm going to do all I can to do that. And some researchers are calling spermidine the youth molecule in our cells. Before I jump into the research, I want to give you a little bit more background on spermidine. Now, spermidine is a naturally occurring polymine. That's from amino acids, and it is in every single cell of our body. It's used for cell growth, cell multiplication, and cell survival. Spermidine actively interacts with our DNA, our RNA, and our proteins, truly the building blocks of life. And it is so important for our cellular health, especially as we age. As well, spermidine is found in the actual foods that we eat, including wheat germ, soybeans, mushrooms, aged cheeses and nuts like almonds, hazelnuts, and pumpkin seeds. There are also some whole grains and fruits and vegetables that contain it as well. And the research is showing that we need to keep our spermidine levels high to get the main benefits from them. So that's why I'm recommending supplementation to get your spermidine levels up to the best level that they can be. Now let's get into the research. There was some fascinating research that really pointed to longevity and that was in a 2018 study that was done in the Journal of Nature Medicine. What it did is it took a number of mice and split them into two groups. They gave one group of the mice spermidine and the other group no spermidine at all. It just had uh, regular meals that they were feeding it. And the mice on spermidine live longer. In fact, it showed biomarkers that included reduced systemic blood pressure, prevented cardiac hypertrophy, 
and showed a delay in the progression to heart failure. The speculated reason for this is autophagy. Now, in the longevity world, you've probably heard of the term autophagy quite a bit. It comes from the Greek term meaning self-eating because what needs to happen for your body to function properly, especially as we age, is those cells need to replenish themselves, they need to recycle, and they need to rejuvenate. So the old cells, sometimes they can kind of lose their function and they become basically a rubbish that needs to be moved out. So we need to have that circulating throughout. And autophagy does that, where you're rejuvenating with new cells and getting rid of the old ones that are damaged or somehow dysfunctional. Autophagy regenerates our cells and decreases the susceptibility to weight gain and various diseases. Autophagy is crucial for the optimum functioning of our cells. And one of the best things you know that I'm going to get behind is that it's exercise. It's great autophagy and helps regenerate those cells and keep them replenished. As well, the same study revealed that with food questionnaires that they'd given out to, yeah, humans, that those with a high dietary of spermidine had lower blood pressure and less cardiovascular disease. The lab summarized, and I quote, our results suggest a new and feasible strategy for the protection from cardiovascular disease. The next research that we will look into has to do with the neuroprotective properties of spermidine. And published in 2021 in the biogerontology, they took these rats and they aged induced them. Okay, they made these rats actually older. Then they split them into two groups. Half weren't taking spermidine and the other half were having spermidine in their water. And they had some remarkable results with the rats that were taking the spermidine, including a decreased level of pro-oxidants and an increased level of antioxidants. That's the good oxidants. And as well as in the brain, it was upregulated the expression of the autophagy genes and downregulated the expression of the inflammatory genes. That lab summarized, and I quote, our results provide evidence that spermidine prevents neuroprotection against age-induced oxidative stress by regulating autophagy, antioxidants level, and also reduces inflammation. Further to this last study, in 2023, in the Journal of Neuroinflammation, they looked at the beta amyloid pathway in these mice. What they did is they split them into two groups, one that had the Alzheimer's disease and one that didn't. Now you've heard of beta amyloid probably because it's a plaque that can build up and cause Alzheimer's. That's what's pointed towards Alzheimer's a lot. Although there's a lot more research that needs to be done. What they found between the mice that were on the spermidine and the mice that weren't is that there were decreased levels of this beta amyloid plaque in them. This lab summarized, and I quote, Interestingly, spermidine regulated the neuroinflammatory response of the microglia, and spermidine holds the potential to enhance amyloid plaque degradation and to counteract neuroinflammation in Alzheimer's pathology. In summary, in these mice, spermidine reduced the beta amyloid that can lead to the beta amyloid plaque which can lead to Alzheimer's. As all of you who are regular viewers here and subscribers know that I am crazy and obsessed with the longevity health span field. And I do all that I can to maximize, optimize my future years. And I want that for you as well. That's my mandate and that's why I'm here. That's my wheelhouse. Now I have teamed up with a longevity supplement company called Particular. They reached out to me. All they carry is longevity supplements. So it was a perfect pairing because that's all I do. We're going to be more experts in our field if we stay in our niche markets. Now, you will be able to find in the description below a link to Spermidine that you can use to get 15% off Spermidine if you wish to try it out. If you feel that there's enough research here for you to give it a go. Plus, they have a unique risk-free 60-day money-back guarantee so you can try Spermidine. I've also included the TMG link below because you know how bullish I am on that. So you can use that as well. And any of the longevity supplements there, simply put in Colasco 15 if it doesn't automatically come up and show and you'll get 15% off of those. Why particular also is because you'll see the GMP insignia on all their products, good manufacturing products. That means a third party tested. So you know that what they say is on the label is what's inside the bottle. So you wanna give those a try? Please do use those links. If you found this content valuable, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you're here every week because I drop my videos. 
noon Eastern Standard Time every Friday. And that's going to have something valuable for you to optimize and move the needle on your future years to get them to be the best that they can be. I appreciate you being here. Please leave a comment as well. We've got a really good community, people talking to each other within that, some really valuable sharing going on there. And it's really helping us all to be stronger in our future years together. Also hit that like button because that'll make me feel great. But also those things will help the algorithm and help more men 50 plus find this channel and get the benefits from it. I look forward to seeing you here next week.